you wouldn't think that Oregon would have one of the highest rates it's of skin so cancer because right. it is so cloudy. Yeah. Right. It's not about the clouds. No, not yeah. at all. And it's going to be, uh, those are good tips because the next couple of days we're going to see a lot of sunshine. Uh, temperatures are going to be warming up. A lot of people are going to be outdoors. And uh, come Monday, <laughs> maybe 90 degrees, oh. maybe 90 degrees. So enjoy your day right now. 70s, we've seen a lot of the clouds kick on out of here. Sunshine in, 72 for Monmouth, Portland at 71. Skamania, about, how about this view? 70 degrees, 57 along the coast. Great day to be on the beach. And again, these temperatures are all going to be rising over the next 24 hours by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon into Monday. Forest Grove, Hillsborough, Beaverton, lower 70s. Twelton at 69 degrees right now. Can be 78, a little bit warmer there. Upper 60s for Gresham and Battleground at 71 degrees. Uh, the next few hours, if you have plans to maybe get outdoors, go grab dinner, grab a drink. 69 degrees, about the mid-60s by 9 o'clock. It's going to be a quiet evening, maybe a few clouds starting to develop, but should be staying away from the precipitation for just about all of us. Here's what we have going on. A lot of showers in Idaho and off to the east. A couple of them are trying to push into areas of Washington as well as Oregon, so we'll get a little bit closer here so we can take a better look at the radar. So we have Pendleton and some of the other locations and neighborhoods along uh, Interstate 84, and you can see the spotty showers there. But again, these are going to be really brief, shouldn't be producing a lot of precipitation. We'll kind of zoom through this because there's not a lot of happening uh, through the next couple of days. Here's Sunday morning, so tomorrow morning, seeing a lot of clear sky, the clouds pretty much hanging over the Pacific Ocean, maybe some clouds seeping in towards our direction as we head through the afternoon. But I expect a mostly sunny day for our, our Sunday, and that goes for just about the whole state. Here's 6 30, a great finish to your Sunday when you start prepping for Monday morning, about the same song and dance. And when you wake up uh, Monday morning. It's going to feel warm out there and by the time you get into the afternoon even hotter. So no green on the forecast as we go through our Monday well, all the way to Tuesday. Uh, looks like we're just going to stay sunny and clear through the next couple of days, especially Monday and Tuesday. But as you can tell, here's the cloud coverage late Tuesday. It's going to eventually push in on Wednesday and that should probably change up the forecast. So a ridge of high pressure is going to develop, and what that is going to do, it's going to do exactly what we just saw. It's going to kick the clouds out of here, kind of acts for a shield, and it's going to warm things up. Instead of having that onshore flow or that moisture and cooler air coming from the Pacific, it's going to shift the wind out of the northeast or east, and it's going to help warm things up. Monday is looking to be the warmest day of the week, pushing near 90 degrees, which is going to be pretty close to a record high as we go into our Monday. But it, it changes rather fast. Now this is the forecast change. By the time we get to Wednesday, starting to bring in some cooler air from the north and northeast and maybe a light rain shower. So I only expect the warm temperatures, or you could say hot summer-like temperatures, to be here Monday and then starting to cool down by Tuesday. Thursday, still some cooler air. So those oranges and the reds that you see on this, which are indicating and representing hotter air, uh, that is going to be well off to the south by the time we go through the week. So it looks something like this. This is a good glimpse at our temperatures over the next couple of days. And this forecast has changed a lot, so this might even change come tomorrow, something that I'll definitely continue to watch and uh, monitor with those weather updates. But Monday, 90 degrees, Tuesday, 85, and we're down to about the mid-60s on Wednesday. So we're definitely going to have things warm on up and then cool right back down as the atmosphere tries to balance. Okay, so seven-day forecast, 85 degrees on Tuesday, a slight chance for some light rain on Wednesday, definitely some cooler temperatures. Look at that, nearly a 20-degree drop. It might be a little bit more, might be a little less than that. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in the mid-70s and back to 79 degrees on Saturday. So if you've been looking for some hot temperatures, we're going to have it definitely on Monday and likely Tuesday, but then we're cooling back down to more of a Pacific Northwest. Our average right around uh, this time of the year is 70 degrees, so we're going to be way above that, almost 20 degrees above that on Monday. And Wednesday looks like it's like weather whiplash. Right. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yes. Just boom. Just boom. all towers back over in some cooler weather. Okay. But the forecast models have changed a lot over the last couple of days, so we'll have to see what the next one in that, that comes out this evening. Okay, Joseph, thanks. Good yes. to know.